Hey everyone, my name is Alexa Ortega and today we're going to be doing a full body workout. All you're going to need is a set of dumbbells. I'm using five pound dumbbells, but you are welcome to use any weights that you feel like is going to challenge you, but also be sustainable. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Nice small circles forward. Open up that chest and those arms. Take it into nice big arm circles. Let those arms go. Start relaxing your neck. It does not need to work. Then let's take it backwards. So small arm circles back into nice big arm circles. Then we're going to go ahead and open up our lower body, starting off with our hips. So standing on one leg, bring that knee up all the way out to the side. You want to make sure your hips are nice and open and warmed up, especially if you've been sitting down all day. We tend to get really tight in our hips from a sedentary lifestyle or an office job. Good. Keep bringing those knees out all the way out to the side. Go for two more. Now go ahead and tap the opposite foot with the opposite hand. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Feel that in the back of your legs, your hamstrings. We're going to take it into a squat. Let's open up our upper and middle back. So twisting open both ways, staying in that squat. Up next, finish up that last rep. Then you're going to take it into regular squats. We want to make sure our legs are ready to work. So regular air squats, push that butt back like you're sitting into a chair, weight in the heels, come up, squeeze those glutes at the top of the stance. Start getting connected to your breath if you haven't already. All right, let's go for two more. Now we're going to work out our entire body. So inchworms. Let's stretch it out. Go to the top of your mat. Slowly lean down. Walk into a plank with your hands. As soon as you're in a plank position, go ahead and do a push up. Walk your feet in slowly until you can't walk anymore. Slowly come up vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll those shoulders back. Let's go for one more. Slowly coming down. Walk into a plank. Push up, walk back in, slowly come up, and we are ready. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells. We're going to get started here. First exercise, standing hip width apart, slight bend in the knees. You're going to take it into a deadlift. As soon as you come up from a deadlift, it's going to be a curl into a press. So three different exercises. For that deadlift, you want to make sure your core is nice and tight. Your back is not rounded and you want to press the weights up. Lock those arms out at the top. Good. Keeping that core nice and tight. Slide those dumbbells down your legs. Full hip extension at the top. Curl and then press. Hang in there. We are so close. Up next, grab those dumbbells. You're going to hold them right here by your shoulders. Now, in a squat, you're going to take a step back and alternate those feet. So you're staying in a squat the entire time. Go ahead and get started. Lengthen those legs as much as you can. Keep those abs nice and tight. You should not have a loose belly. Good. And if you want to make it even more challenging, pick up the pace on those reps. Keep going. Remember, you are staying in a squat, so lengthen those legs when you're alternating. Get in those last couple of reps for these last 10 seconds. Almost there. Stay with me. Three. Two, one, and up next. We're going to take this into an overhead squat. So you want to lock those arms out. 
the entire time. You can use one dumbbell if it's too heavy, but what you're gonna do, squat, come back up, squeeze your butt at the top, get started, nice straight arms. One of my favorite workouts, it really works your core, since you have to stabilize those weights. At the top of your head, do your best to keep those arms locked out the entire time, getting that squat depth in. Breathe, we are more than halfway through. Hang in there. Again, if the weight is too heavy, place one dumbbell down, hold one dumbbell with both of your hands. Otherwise, carry on. Getting in that squat depth, squeeze those glutes at the top. All right, up next. So you're gonna get in a squat. When you're down in a squat, you're gonna punch twice, okay? So squat punches, work in the entire body. When you do those punches, really throw those arms out. And pick up the pace if you wanna make it more challenging. Find your own rhythm. That's it. Keeping a nice, solid pace. Keep going. Throw your best punches. Get in that squat depth, 15 seconds. Keep that core nice and tight. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, all right, up next, we are down on the ground. So we're taking it into down, up, and then you're gonna jump out and jump in. All right, get ready. Down, up, jump out, jump in. Take your time with this one. You can also tap your leg if you don't wanna jump. Find what works for your body today. This is a good one for your shoulders, core, and lower abs. 15 seconds, hang in there. Three, two, last one. Down, up, jump out, and in. Go ahead and take the rest. Now, up next, grab those dumbbells. You're gonna do a dumbbell swing. So nice wide stands. Swing the dumbbells up and take it into a press, okay? So what you wanna do, you're not squatting. You're using the power in your hips to drive the weight up into a swing and then take it into a press. Keep that core nice and tight. The power is in your hips. It's like a kettlebell swing, except we're using our dumbbells and adding that nice press at the top. <sighs> Don't forget to squeeze your glutes every time you hinge. Keep that neck relaxed, nice locked out arms at the top of the press. All right, there's that bell up next. With both of your dumbbells, nice wide stance. In a lateral lunge, you're gonna go ahead and row with both of your dumbbells, and then you're gonna alternate and row on the other side. Get started. Take your time with this one. Sink into each hip. Row at the bottom of the lunge. Keep that core nice and tight. Breathing through each rep. Make sure the weight is in your heel. Stay with it, we've got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. All right, up next. So with one dumbbell, we're gonna do a squat when you're at the top of the stance, you're gonna take it into a press. 
rotate that dumbbell. So one side at a time squat. Press it up, but you wanna rotate your body for that press. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Working those obliques, those legs, those shoulders. Get in one more rep and switch sides, other side. Good, getting in that depth every time. Squat nice and low, stand up nice and tall, rotate and press. Good. All right, there's that bell. Last exercise in a side plank. You wanna get on the ground, get ready. You're gonna bring your hips up in three, two, and one. So staying in a nice side plank, hips are nice and high and off the ground. Squeeze those glutes, hang in there. Breathe. Couple more seconds here before we switch sides. Go ahead and switch sides. Transitioning really quickly. Get those hips up as soon as you can. Hanging out right here. Make sure your hips stay nice and high off the ground. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one great work today. We are gonna go ahead and cool down. Starting off, since we're already sitting down, nice straight legs out in front of you, point those toes. Lean forward into that stretch, hold right here. Stretch out those hamstrings. You'll feel this in the back of your legs. Bring one leg on top of the other. Go ahead and twist. If you're lucky, your back will crack. Other side. Now go ahead and take it into an Indian sit. Heels are together, bring them as close to your groin as you can. Do a couple of flyaways, opening up those hips. Now slowly lean down into that stretch. Holding for 10 seconds. Up next, go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back, stretching out that chest. Then go ahead and grab your arm, actively pull it across your chest. And switch sides, other side. Grab that elbow, pull it down to the side. And go ahead and switch. Clasp your hands together out in front of you. Reach up nice and high, bend to one side. Take it to the other side, breathe through that stretch. Last two stretches in a lunge. Bring that heel forward, lean down into that stretch. Lengthen that leg, go ahead and lean into that leg for a couple of seconds. Now switch. So other leg, bring that heel forward, lean into that stretch. Lengthen that leg, leaning down. Stand up nice and tall, plant your feet on the ground, inhale up. Exhale out, going for one more. Inhale up, exhale out. Acknowledging yourself for the work you just did. I hope to see you at the next workout. Great work today.